Hello and welcome. My name is Geo from SwitchRPG.com. We are playing Vambrace Cold Soul. I am really excited about this game. I am quite a Darkest Dungeon fan, so this is kind of right up my alley. And you'll see the the inspiration of this game um, is definitely Darkest Dungeon, and um, it's it's got a little more narrative, I think, than Darkest Dungeon is, and you'll see that in the first hour or so. I believe the first how hour, sorry, first hour is very story heavy. So let's take a look at these achievements. I absolutely love this. The last game I played had this as well, um, Decay of Logos. They had their own in-game achievement system. I mean, why can't this be a thing? You know, why can't it be a thing? Uh, it's, it's nice. So you get to take pictures of these things and, you know, eventually when Nintendo comes up with themes, maybe we'll be able to put those as backgrounds or something. So let's take a look at the options. Music, sound, difficulty. It's either Standard or Cold Soul, so not doing Cold Soul quite yet. I don't think we're not that good. I mean, if this game's anything like Darkest Dungeon, it's going to be kind of difficult. All right, so this, I am going through blind. I have not played this at all. So let's get into it. I think, I think you guys are going to absolutely love the art style. It is really, really interesting. Really cool. Really cold as some would say no crickets it's fine it's fine let's go <coughs> all right this is the place i told you guys about looks like the spooks got here first was it really worth leaving a regular path to come all the way out all the way out here we're not patrolling today besides if we don't find any more supplies soon, we'll all be in trouble. Have you got a better suggestion? I'm not the one that will have to tell Celeste we came back empty-handed. Shut your pie holes. Who knows what's lurking about here? Just look around and see if you can find anything useful. Check out the tutorial graphic above and move out. All right, here's the tutorial graphic. So your character can move left or right on the field using the left joystick. Very nice. All right. The command box in the bottom left displays your interactive options with the environment around you. The command box on the bottom right displays the inventory, bio, codex, and map options. The inventory displays the items your team is carrying. Okay, the map displays your current location, destination, and field encounters. The bio displays your team members, stats, skills, status effects, and equipped relics. Very good. Alright, oh, let's, let's just head this way. Your progress is saved. I am glad. It's been saved again. Huh? huh? A door? Hodor? Is it locked? Open it already. Keep your guard up. All right, interaction icon represents a variety uh, represent a variety of ways you can engage with the environment around you. A red X on the interaction icon means you can neither access the area nor engage with the object. You'll need to hold the interact button to complete your action with certain objects. Okay, I'm guessing this door is going to be one of those buttons now. What is the interact button I just pushed? A? And it did the trick. Okay. So this is something, yeah, I can't I can't interact with. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds like, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tim Allen in Home Improvement. That's definitely what he sounds like. All right, I found something. Looks like a chest of some sort. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay. Here it goes. I can't open it. What? Oh, mother, help me. It's a miracle I've survived this long in a company of fools. Just press and hold the button indicating the tutorial graphic and voila! It's usually a good idea to have someone with a high slight stat in your team to do the dirty work. Huh. Containers like this may hold valuable loot. A high slight will lead to better chances of finding loot. Chests will be opened by the party member with the highest slight. Scavengers with low slight 
may have difficulty opening it. So do, does that mean he the the I need to use the party member with the highest like do I do they need to be the lead? Like how do I change that? It doesn't look like I can right now. Okay. Let's let's open this up. Ah, toolbox full of gears, bolts, nuts and assorted. All right. Let's take it. Scrap. Okay. Wood planks and chains. The chests here is very, the chests here are different from the ones back in Edena. Edena. Forget the chest. Try checking the inventory and character character bios as indicated in the bottom right corner of the screen. All right. Looks like it's a D-pad. So let's take a look at inventory. This is your team's inventory. The skull icon represents Hellion. The currency used to buy and sell items. The scale icon represents capacity and indicates how much your team is carrying before you suffering overweight debuff. Each section of your inventory categorizes items by the same type. Okay, most items can be sold to merchants or removed from your inventory. However, quest items will remain with you. Relics represented by the diamond icon may be equipped to improve stats or upgrade skills. Some quest items may also be equipped. All right, let's check out what do we got here? The bio. All right, this is the bio. Learn more about your team members, stats, skills, status effects, and equipped relics here. You can choose between the characters in your team. The heart icon indicates health. The flame icon indicates vigor. The sword icon indicates combat and represents the character's prowess at fighting. The lockpick icon indicates slight and represents the character's ability to scavenge. The stars icon. Sorry, I'm just looking at the icon. Stars icon indicate merchantry and represents the character's ability to negotiate with merchants. The eye icon indicates awareness and represents the individual's ability to spot traps. The party's success is determined by the ally with the highest rating. Again, I'm not sure if that ally needs to be ahead, like in front of the party. You know, the character I'm moving. I don't know if you can move these guys around. The tent icon indicates overwatch and represents the character's ability to care for the party while camping. Combat skills can be performed while fighting. Normal skills are your character's default abilities. The flourish skill can only be used once it's been charged with flourish points. This section displays, displays your party's equipment. You can check the value and benefit of equipping various relics here. Use the formation button. All right, so there's the formation button that I was talking about where you can move party members different in different places. You may also need to dismiss a party member to recruit new comrades. All right, same vein as Darkest Dungeon. All right. The map displays your current location. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. There I am. I can't read this language, though. This runic language? Whatever it is. All right, let's move forward. A door. Oh? Oh? oh, I'm sorry. I gotta stop doing that. It's freezing out here. You think the spooks are getting close? Did you forget to bring the guy, uh, meter again? We should keep going. No use going back the way we came if you are. Stay put for too long and they'll catch up. Remember, if your health or vigor drops to zero... We'll be the ones spooking this place. Let's go. I feel uneasy. This place gives me the creeps. All right. The red bar in your character's hood indicates health. If the character's health, health drops to zero, he or she will die. Damage to health is usually incurred during combat. The yellow health bar is, a, uh, uh, is vigor. A character will also die if vigor drops to zero. Damage to vigor is usually incurred through stress of exploration. You can gain flourish points through critical action bonuses and finishing turns during combat. Accumulating enough will activate your flourish. Cool. Huh? Infrasonic totem. What? Oh, avoided. Well, that's freaking awesome. And she's not in the front party, so... Um, that, that's good. That's good. Another trap. Best to have someone with high awareness stat in your team to avoid them. All right. So they don't need to be, sounds like they don't need to be in the front of the line. Traps are high. Traps are dangerous features of ice and air. Your party leader or the entire party team could incur damage from an activated trap. Characters with high awareness will warn your party member 
of imminent dangers and allow you to avoid unexpected casualties from traps. Characters with low awareness will trigger traps more easily and probably die. Same. Some actions have a probability of failure. When you see a green script, it means your attempt was a, su a su success. Bah! The red script means the action failed and you will incur a penalty. A gray script means you missed and the enemy has evaded your attack. A blue script means you scored a critical hit. We want a lot of those. Bottom line. So they're telling me about critical hits. Probably because I'm going to be coming up to an enemy. Ah, I just saw something move in the distance. Get your weapons ready. And think fast. Let's make sure we get home today. Ah. I'm ready. Are you? Boom. It came up quick. Alright. You have encountered hostile enemies. Your team is located on the left and the enemy team is positioned to the right. Each team has four slots rising in value from the center. All right, so one, two, three, and four. All right, I see the timeline on the bottom. Okay. The bottom bar displays turn order using the character's HUD slots. A higher awareness gives characters an advantage in initiative. If the two characters have the same awareness, one position in front will get the initiative. Right? Normal skills are normal skills are your character's default abilities. Flourish is powerful, but needs to be charged, accumulated flourish points. Using guard is a useful way to defend yourself against powerful attacks. You may even gain a flourish point. You cannot use items or change relics during combat. However, you may check the map and bio for the benefit of planning your next move. Formation allows you to rearrange your team in the heat of combat. Run away is also a good option for avoiding combat. Monster types are indicated by the icon beneath portraits. All right, some skills may incur special effects based on these types. All right, um, I choose you. There are three range types for every skill, short range, mid range, and long range. Short range skills are only available while positioned in the first or second slot and can only target enemies in the first or second slot. All right, so it kind of makes sense. Mid range skills can be used in any position, but only target enemies in the first or second slot. Long range skills can be used in any position and can target any enemy position. Choose your target Choose your target. Your target reticle is visible on the enemy HUD. You can also speed up the pace of combat with ZR. All right, I don't see myself doing that. All right, so let me back up here. So I've chosen her. She's got the highest initiative, and I can attack. I think I don't know what I can. I don't know what her attacks are. Okay, I killed. Killed them. Now, will that body be in the way? Oh, all right, I see the attacks now. Okay, it, it's kind of making sense. So, push A. See, I, I wish it kind of, I could push A, X, B, or Y. Looks like X, I, can I go over that? No, I can't. All right, I gotta figure out what those icons are. All right, so A looks like the normal attack, uh, where it can attack anybody in that row. B, I'm not sure. Maybe a heal. I gotta look those up. But I'm just gonna do A. Let's mash A for now. Alright, you're dead too. See, in Darkest Dungeon, I'd have a problem with those bodies there. But we're not gonna worry about them. Looks like they just want us to learn. So we'll do the same thing here. Oh, not dead. So let's, oh, let's take an attack. Did that do anything? Doesn't look like it. Can I reach him? Oh, yeah, I can reach him. Oh, yeah, I can reach him. Nice. What do we get? Anything good? Nothing? We got nothing out of that? Ooh, sorry. I, I just can't help it. I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this place. You're the one insisted we come out here to begin with. By all means, continue quarreling amongst yourselves if you want to be ice pops. We have the spoils we came for, and it's colder than a witch's tit out here. I, for one, am ready to return. 
Hold up, guys. I see a body. Looks like a girl. Who is it? Ah, ah, who is this? Ah. Mm -hmm. She's not from Dale Arc. I don't recognize her. No scavenging teams came up today either. Well, I can't help her now. Search the body. Seriously? You search her. Wait. She's still breathing. We should help her. Who knows how long she's been out here. You want to bring her back? Are you mad? We have no clue who she is. She could be... <laughs> she could be with the green flame, for all we know. She doesn't look like one of them. We can't risk compromising Dale Ark's location. Celeste will have our heads. And what if she knows how to cast that strange magic? We don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious, Captain Lanville. Shall Captain, I'm sorry. She's unconscious. Captain Lanville shall decide her fate. Looks like it's your lucky day, girl. We're picking her up. I once read a man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. I confess I never really knew you. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts in the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the Dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind. On an expedition to the cursed city of Isenair for answers you never provided. I shall not be daunted. My determination is equal to the task at hand. If, as you say, this Vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city, I will find what I seek. My journey has been difficult. Since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a ghostly blade cutting me down. Well, I do love those visuals, that's for sure. Very nice. Chapter 1, The Adventurous. So there is a lot to take in. Um, I definitely need to, you know, catch up on the skills and actions that they can do. I don't know what the icons mean. In, 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 from what I've seen so far, it doesn't look, look like I can highlight them to see what they're called and what they do. Um, but maybe maybe that is an option. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. As soon as we load. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Ugh, my head. Glad you could join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking questions here. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric. Avelia Lyric. I am Landville Esquire. You're lucky we found you a moment later, and you'd be another piece of frozen decor... Decor? Decor? How do you say it? Grazing the streets. It must have, I must have fainted. I've never felt a chill like that before. We are, unfortunately, well acquainted with it here. Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you. She's not calling the shots. And I was feeling generous. Up there? So, we're on the ground? Looks like you've looks like I've got a sharp one on my hands. 
I took the liberty of searching your stuff. A bunch of climbing gear and a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Nicolao Lyric. I traveled here from Adina with his journal. Where is the music? There's no background music. Right. Everyone knows. I'm sorry. Everyone knows. Nobody goes in and nobody ever comes out of Eisner. Eisner? You mean I'm here? I actually made it inside the city? Suppose for a moment I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past Frostfell? That barrier around the city? I walked through it. Enough of this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Instant death. The only freaks wandering the surface are either spooks, mad survivors, or the green flame. You're not dead, and as far as I can tell, you're still sane. So, let's cut through the crap. What's your connection with the green flame? Um, I don't know. Green, what? Green flame. The Arconic cult hellbent on destroying the Guardian Alliance. Ring any bells? Or have you been living under a rock? They're the ones responsible for this frozen curse. And I can assure you, I am not with them. I just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn Idini decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zachard. Do you know of him? Huh. There's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I am feeling gracious today, so tell you what. I'm giving you a tentative I'm giving you tentative permission to move about Dale Arc. Dale Arc, Dale Arch, Dale Arch sounds nicer. Until I until I figure out what to do with you, that is. Dale Arch. Oh. That's the name of our lovely abode deep below Ice Nair. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run. You'd be you'd best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. You'll need you'll need some. Wait, what is that? Oh, must be the money. You'll need some if you want to survive down here. What what's this? We call it Hellion. And it's the only currency worth anything down here. Consider it a little welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny, and you're dead in a cell or right back on the surface where we found you. Are we clear? Crystal clear. Very nice. Oh, I'm famished. Is there anything to eat down here? Ah, I can run with a ZR, and that's also how you speed up battles. All right, this is the Codex Illuminus. It's just separated into two sections, the Codex and the Journal. Change books to view the, to view the journal. It contains details on your current mission and goal. You can choose from completed and working mission sections. All right, cool. Let's head up here. Let's spend the, some of our monies. Ah, the captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. Uh, okay. Are you done? What's over here? Ah, what's this? How to keep your body warm. Step one, make a fire. Stand in front of fire. Be warm. Yes. Oh, hello. Mm. Keep your distance from her. Or you're bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Sal Salazar. The woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. I can't place her. But for some reason, she looks familiar. She looks like she'd be a good party member. Uh, the frost wind howls around you. Your presence here will bring much anguish. Huh? I don't understand. Your paperwork is done. Scram! Before we change our minds. I guess we're done talking to her. All right, let's let's get the heck out of here. Ah, looks like a little overworld. Pretty cool. Not sure where to go. Ah, there we go. What's this? Ah, again, looks like a tavern of some sort. Yes, let's spend our money. Foxier Market. Oh, nope, we don't want to go there. Halt! 
You're not permitted to be roaming around here. Calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Another girl, eh? You tricky bastard. I still need her to check the paper. Still need to check the papers, though. No need to bother. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. That's the NVC, guys. NVC. All right, all right. Go on. Who is this mook talker? Huh. Yeah, he looks like something from Thundercats. What gorgeous eyes the lady has. Maharam. Maharam? Yeah. Relic hunting extraordinaire. At your service. Sorry. But isn't that just a fancy way to say you're a thief of antiquities? You offend my sensibilities with such barbed words. I am merely a humble adventurer who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name is Lyric. Why did you help me anyway? I have a quick ear, my lady. Life here can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with their strange ways. Ha, ah, forgive me. You must be famished. Allow me to take, take you to the market. That's one offer I won't refuse. All right. All right, follow him. Mm. Ah, oh. this must be where the food is. Hello, you saw. This is Lurk, my dear friend since today. <laughs> She's gawking at me. Oh, boy. You saw, huh? That's a pretty name. How can I help you two today? Do you have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, my lady. Do you have any Hellion? Hellion? Oh, she's playing stupid. She's got money. The fox here traditionally burnt burn it as an offering to our ancestors. It is now currency of choice for spooks. You mean this, right? Yeah, Lanville gave me some. Great. Shall we make a deal? Oh? Huh? Huh? Anything in particular you're looking for? Dale Archer's survivors and silver wraiths conduct trade of using a paper currency called Hillian. You'll need to scavenge and sell supplies you found on the field to earn more. Switch between the shops and wares and your inventory to buy and sell items. Merchantry represents your ability to negotiate with merchants. More options and rare items will appear in the shop if you have high merchantry stacked, which probably don't have much. All right. <clears throat> so we got splint, which cures fractured and sprain. All right. So this is kind of a consumable minus one health plus one vigor. I'm probably what, how much vigor? I mean, hell do I have? I have 500. I'm probably going to just get, like, one of everything or something. Curious, terrified, frostbitten. Yeah. All right. Why don't I just get everything? What's this way? Huh. This is some... Ah, cool. For a vest. Yeah, why don't I just get this stuff? All right. I got one of those. One of them. One of them. One of them, one of them. Just in case. And it looks like I can get enough to also get one of these. Let's get a fur vest. There we go. Now we broke. Ah, I'll be seeing you around. Stop right there. Oh, boy. Lady Celeste, what brings you to our quiet corner of Dale Arch? What are you doing out of prison? Mayhaps there is a misunders... Oh, boy. Shut your mouth, Mahorum. Guards, arrest her. What? That's not good. I honestly didn't think you were going to make it out... <laughs> make it when we dumped you in that cell. Celeste, right? Lanfo mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on the street. Thought you might be a green flame agent. 
We could. Oh, a f green flame agent we can interrogate. Good intel is hard to come by nowadays. I understand everyone's suspicious, but I have already told Lanville I have no connection to them. Am I to believe you just waltzed into Ice Nair? Ridiculous. The frost fell surrounding the city kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that wretched gift that keeps giving. I just saw her in prison. What does she have to do with all this? You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. If what Lanville said is true, I'm the first person to enter the city in a year. Nobody outside has the slightest clue of what's happening here. Want to know what's really happened? We were fools that got caught up in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between dwarves and drifters is as old as the city itself. We never imagined Ice Nair would devolve into total chaos. The Green Flame had been stoking tensions for month, months, if not years. When the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps his iron keeps an iron grip on it. But as far but I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all after, after all you show up now? That's convenient. Maybe Lambo believes your little sob story. But you're not fooling me. You've got the wrong idea about me. I came here in good faith. Too bad. You're marching right back to that prison cell, and you're gonna learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. Oh, she's angry. This is a private wedge. Ma'am, we have a problem. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in Dale Arch. What? How's that possible? It's at the ascending room. Please, come. Just my luck. Don't you... Don't think this changes anything. You're coming with me. Could the rumors about the mad wraiths and of Ice Nair be true? Oh, we go fight a wraith. All of us. It's like ten. Ten people. Everybody, stand back. That's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad. Watch out. Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, there appears some spooks hitched a ride on to Dale Arch in the ascending room. Who's on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as to how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped it. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? I, uh, sir, shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Nonsense! Get these men to the Silvani, he Silvani Healing Hall and be discreet about it. We don't need to cause unnecessary panic and post some guards on the surface. Lyric, meet me in the war room of the Guardian's barracks. There's someone who would like a word with you. Yeah, that's right. I just dominated that wraith. I'm pretty boss. Can't run over here. Guessing that's where we need to go. Guardian Barracks. Um, I guess I should talk to you. Welcome to the headquarters of the Alliance Guardians. Our mission is to maintain order in Dale Arch until we discover a solution to the crisis. Okay. Um, Landville said you were, you'd come. They're waiting for you. Please proceed. Okay, I'll proceed. Hello, 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 good day, hello, hi, how are you? Hey, oh, hey, how are you? Hey, it's me. Yes. Yes. I don't know how it happened, sir. But we're making every F. Lyric, glad you could join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zachard Ventru. Ventru? Zachard. I, s I set out in search of you months ago. I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please, excuse me. Apologies for interrupting. I'm just pleased to meet your acquaintance. Please, call me Zachar. The captain just informed me of your unusual arrival. 
I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Yes, I'm sorry to cut this introduction short, but we have an ongoing situation. Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left Dale Arch. She murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into Dale Arch, putting many lives at risk. Risks? Risk. I saw her. Briefly. While having my paperwork done, she even spoke to me as I was leaving. What? She hasn't spoken in a year. Do you remember what she said? I didn't pay much heed to her at the time. Who is she? That witch is one of the Shade King's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she will compromise Dale Art's location. If, if that happens, nothing will save us. And forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? We tried. We were unable to follow her through the frost fence. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence? There are smaller barriers conjured from the same magic as the frost fell. The green flames use them to limit our access to certain sectors of Isenair. They too are deadly to the touch. But that wouldn't be an issue for you. Would it, Lyric? Sir? It's true. I walked through the Frostfell. I could do so through the power of this Vambrace. But you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come into, pos into the possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this cursed place. This Vambrace, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed me to bypass the Frostfell harmlessly. Would your father happen to be the esteemed Dr. Nicolau... Nicolau? Nicolau Lyric? One and the same. How could you possibly know that? He is a renowned scholar, and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed. I am well versed on his works. Now, before me stands a woman bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of arconic, arconic design. Even I can't connect the dots. You recognize this thing? It's called the Ether Brace, a powerful relic indeed. I'm not sure Lyric realizes the value of what she possesses. If all you say is true, then she should give it to us. We could use it and turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't remove it. I've tried everything short of cutting my arm off. Lyric, you seek answers, and I am willing to help you. But our priority now is finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lead a party past a frost fence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help. But when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare before deploying. Take the scroll of consent and tell Helga at the Lost Lady Inn I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. My scouts informed me Isabel was moving north towards the entertainment district. We will send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. If you're looking for cell swords, you might you might have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set for you for your next ex destination. Leave it to me. Wow, we already got ourselves a first mission. I do want there were stairs over here. I'd like to visit these stairs if that's at all possible. <clears throat> oh, uh, hey girl. Over here. Okay. Uh, pretty busy right now. Now keep it brief. I am Maru Han, the acting director of the North Avenger Confi Con Company. That's right, NVC. <laughs> I heard a rumor Landville was assembling an expedition to the Entertainment District. Is this true? Word travels fast. Yeah, literally. I just talked to him. There are a few activities while while away. The hours in Dale Arch. And the gift of Gab has always been my specialty. Well, your sources were right. But the original expe expedition was cancelled and I'm leading a new one myself. Then I have a special request. There is an item of great importance to me in the entertainment district. The merchant, uh, Manduke, is currently in possession of it. 
What is the item, and who is Manduk? A golden seal called Oski. It is granted by the Asadali Emperor and confers legitimacy to its owner to conduct business on behalf of the North Adventure Company. Manduk was the company's former chief. This doesn't seem like anything worth risking lives over. Risk brings rewards. Fetch me the seal and I'll sure you get the finest deals in Dale Arch. You'll need my help if you're planning regular expeditions to the surface. Alright, I'll keep my eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate has already been sealed. It is of little use to her now, but it is priceless to me. I'll be seeing you around. Alright, what is this? Something we can take. He found the page of a codex. All right, we'll have a read at that later. Hello, sir. We have brokered a tenuous truce between Crown Loyalists and Triftus. This place feels like it's about to explode. All right, let's go on up. Nope, 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 nope. All right, well, ah, go this way. Can I get anything in here? Nothing, huh? Oh, here. It's gotta be something, right? Ho, oh, hey, ho. Oh. More, more codex. <laughs> Hello. Let me be clear. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Yes, you've mentioned that before. It looks like I'm the least of yours around here. I don't know how good you how you got through the frost spell, but my gut is telling me something is off. You may be in Lanville's good graces, but respect is earned in my books. Good. It makes two of us. I've got my eyes on you. Yes, you've, you've mentioned that quite a few times. All right. I believe I'm going to end today's episode here. We have to do some recruiting. Can I, can I go here? We have to gather a party. Huh. Hopefully I create the badass party. <laughs> oh, another one. Alright, I just keep collecting codexes. We'll have a read of all these a little later on. Um, oh, go this way. Alright, cool. Oh, there's more. So we'll make sure we get everything here. Huh. I'm really interested if there's like weapons. Like things I can actually use. What do we got here? What's this? Oh. Oh, wow. I like this kind of three-dimensional look here. Pretty cool. Is this where I was before? Looks like it might be. This is the city map. Looks like the Guardians have profiled the most important people in the city. Alright. Alright, let's... Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Alright, cool. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking of this game. I mean, we really haven't done much of anything so far, but hopefully in the next episode we get some battles and whatnot. Uh, but we are going to be doing some recruiting. Uh, maybe um, I will re include you in that process. I'm not entirely sure. Um, the next episode just just may have my party, uh, depending on how laborious this process is. Uh, but yes, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.